I already came through there. Oh, the door was locked, and I have to. I think I have to go back upstairs and come over it this way. The grimy key I found in the basement unlocked the door. Alright. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Jesus, it looks like shit. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? Yes, you did. You need to fight some niggas. You're going to need that shit. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I, appreci I appreciated its weight. Oh, shit, the bed. What the fuck was the point of this room? I have no idea where to go now. I guess outside the house. Is there anywhere else to go? Did I do I go this way? Did I already go this way? Uh, did I? Yeah, TV. Okay, sorry. I completely forgot what I examined and what I haven't examined. Pretty sure I examined everything up there. All right, let's go outside. The front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. But I checked like every inch of this fucking house. Or did I? Was there wasn't there another door here or some shit? There's a fridge. No way was I going to walk away from this now. Okay, well I have no idea where the fuck to go. If you have any fucking ideas, you can fucking tell me. I already went there. So I guess I haven't explored every room upstairs then. Did I go here before? Yeah, the bathroom. He's talking about how much he loves baths or some shit. Oh, I already looked there. Or no, I don't think I did. All right, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Rachel, why? Are we really going to run away with Norman? Was I really such a monster? I guess you were, man. I guess you really weren't that good. I'm trying to look for something in the attic. I cannot. Like I. This way. Da da da. Computer. The laptop was warm and had been running for a while. Dude, I don't know what to do now. I'm. Ah, oh, I was just fucking in there. What the fuck? Wait, is there something? I keep thinking there's like addicts. TV, yeah, anything. I don't know if uh, it didn't matter. Yeah, I guess you should just keep it away. Fuck, I completely missed that text. Am I such God, I'm such an idiot. I, I'm terribly sorry, guys. I have no idea what to fucking do. The bed had been turned. By the looks of it, the crowbar had broken a few things. By the looks of it, okay. Well, this was the last room, and I—I I mean, I can't remember anything else to do. I've—I've I've been in every room. Guess I gotta go back down the basement, I guess. Or maybe I'm just an idiot and completely missed the door or something. Oh. The crowbar I found would have been strong enough to bust through that cheap wall. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yep. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. Plus, go through this hole. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Rachel! Don't. Look. Why? What the hell is that? Another cage. Blood. Don't look. Another jelly. F a filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what was. But I knew I had to come this far. After all this searching. After all I had seen. When I looked within the rags, did I finally find Rachel? Yes. Nothing to see here. Oh, bullshit. What? What's... Oh, hello. 
Wait, what? Maybe I would some Rachel's travel books and go find some places to go. Wait, what? What the fuck happened? It was my wallet with his contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again. Or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that forest water tower. Was I at those places before? Yeah. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> this was the old photo of the other man and his wife, I assume. I found it in that house. There were a lot of disturbing things in those tunnels, underneath that house. Maybe that man wasn't quite what he seemed to well. What did I think? Was that man involved in the whole mess somehow? I guess. Definitely. Those tunnels, the odd tools in his house. He wasn't innocent, that's for sure. Within the few broken pieces remained that mirror, I could see my face with grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. Guess I gotta better search every room again. The reflection is the a shadow and a whisper. I still love the old timey. Oh god. I still love that thing, dude. Fucking everybody's dead around me, but that fucking bathtub really gives me a spanking, you know? Alright, the sh Oh, it's another th thing. It was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It was seemed to me that it was probably Norman's, but if it was true, what was it doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Guess. Who else would have it been? Norman, what were you doing back there? Computer? The laptop had finally run out of power. Oh, darn it. I was gonna look up browsers and shit. That would have been fun. Alright, I better go downstairs. Hey, guys. I need to check every room again. Alright, going through here. So, oh, it's up there. I still had no idea what this tape was I found in the garbage. If only I'd found a way to watch it. So you bought this big ass TV, but you didn't buy a fucking angry with me for stupid things buying this TV. You didn't have enough things to buy a VCR. I mean, you look old enough to fucking have a VCR when they first came out, but you're telling me you don't have one at the most important time of your life? Idiot. Alright, I completely forgot what was over here. Oh, hello. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. It used the digital passcode lock. Did I try to open it? Sure. What was that damn code again? I don't... Of uh, 808? No, that wasn't it. Damn, I couldn't remember. I don't know. I leafed through the notebook I had taken from the forest, and there were names and had been written down. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, da 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 those poor girls were the victims of the same person who had killed Rachel I wondered what happened to the other names on that list or the ones scratched out on that desk in those wet tunnels oh my lord back downstairs I'll probably f it seemed like I hadn't seen all there was maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement oh shit back in the basement I guess I was ready to face the truth now. Yeah, how do you know there's anything there, you idiot? Alright. Oh. It was the knife I had found in the sewers. I had left it here because I didn't want it near me anymore. Was all of this my fault? Was I responsible for Rachel's death? If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Yes. Oh, yes. I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. Let's do it. I couldn't go back into that room again. Oh. I guess I guess you wouldn't ready to face the truth after all, bitch. Let's go back here. Hello? It's Kenson. There would be no more dinners here. No more chit-chat over breakfast. At least not for us. Oh my god. This dude's such a... I don't want to walk back there. We've made too much progress to turn back. Okay, let's see. Oh, the mail still sat there, heaped on the floor. How long had Rachel been lying in the basement? What? There was 
that was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house all the moment long. Did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? Yes. But Rachel, Rachel wasn't there. Since I arrived in the town, things have been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had it been good for me, I kept in line. Oh shit! I watched the boys again, so I okay. Let's restart. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line and gave me something to do and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain as it, as its own game. Things stopped making sense after some time after that, and my memories of what happened are still in flux. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This was that this night was unearthed terrible truth, but I knew it was the final act of long standing horror I'd lived. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house was something to do with all of this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that there were too many things I'd seen seemed to think otherwise. I knew Norman wasn't completely innocent in all this. He was obviously going back to the factory, rooting in those lockers. But he had brought that poor guard I had found. His end? It certainly seemed so, but I almost didn't want to believe it. I had to catch my breath, to take it all in. Up until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then I had seen something even I didn't think to expect. When I went to Norman's store, that's when my perspective on all of this reality started to change. Norman was dead, but I had no idea what happened to him. Finding Rachel's things at his store, though, had been though had been the ultimate shock. I would get no answers now, but that didn't stop my head from receiving reeling all these questions. But as painful as all of that, oh god, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all, I had done and seen finally coming home was supposed to be the end to this entire ordeal. God help me, though it was only the beginning. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again cold and inert shook me from head to toe. What would I do? Who could I turn on? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and giving beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather I should run. Is that it? Oh, wow. That's it. Oh, well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank to, thanks to Benjamin Rivers for that really beautiful game. It was great, especially for a 16-bit game, to have such great atmospheric and horror elements in it. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for that. And, uh, again, I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.